to y'all i got money cash prize you have to redo the baddies atl challenge but let me tell you about the elevator situation because y'all really got me fucked up so last night i was at another hotel i was staying at the w hotel and i'm about to turn the comments off because i can't i gotta pay attention to what i'm about to tell y'all so i get to the I get back from having dinner with friends. I take my room key and I put the um, I put it up to the little thing to go up to my floor. The elevator starts moving up a little bit and then it just randomly like it wasn't like an abrupt stop, but it just stopped. And I was like, yo, like did the elevator like well, the door's going to open What the fuck. Right. So <clears throat> nothing's happening. So I hit another button to try to move to another floor, see what's going on. Then I hit L to go to the lobby. And, the, and then I was like, okay, not, it lit up, but nothing's happening. So I take my key and I put it up to the, to the thing again. And when I did that, all the floors lit up. I said, oh my God, I know I'm not stuck in this elevator. Let me just tell y'all, since I was a little girl, I have literally had fears <clears throat> of being stuck in an elevator like i've never been stuck like in an elevator like that like ever like stuck i was stuck and i'm like a very claustrophobic person um and one of my biggest fears is to be trapped in an elevator i don't know like what the fuck right why it's like whatever and so i'm like i'm stuck in this elevator so I just like close my eyes for a second. I'm like, it's going to move. It's going to move. It's going to move. And it, nothing's happening. So I like quickly look at all the buttons and there's like an emergency bell. I just hold the bell down. It's literally like, ding. I just hold the bell down. Like, bro, like I'm fucking stuck in this bitch. I call to the front desk and the bitch puts me on hold. I said, I know this bitch did not just put me on hold. And I'm stuck in the elevator and the whole hotel could hear this bell ringing right now. So then I call back and it sounds like it's a party in the lobby at the W, which it was. Like drinks are pouring and the front desk is like right by like the bar area. So it was just like loud, the music's blasting. And I'm like, I'm stuck in your fucking elevator. I need help. There was no sense of urgency. There was no like, okay, ma'am, calm down. We have someone coming. Nothing. Mind you, nobody came. I just sat there for 30 minutes stuck in an elevator. Mind you, also, it was extremely hot. I'm in Dallas, Texas right now. It's really, 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 really hot and humid. The, the elevator was like, there was no air blowing. It was just like a hot ass elevator. And no one came. So then finally, after 30 minutes, the elevator starts moving down. And now I'm not in between floors because I started trying to open the door. Like, a, like, a, like literally, like I was like going to lose it. So I start trying to push the doors open. And when I pushed the door open, it was just a wall that freaked me out even more. I'm fucking holding the button again. I'm calling them. I'm crying. I'm like hysterical, stuck in a fucking elevator for 30 minutes. Then the elevator started going down a little bit so I could see that I was like in, I wasn't in between the floors anymore. So I start pushing the doors open and I, and I get out. When I get out, I'm like on the first floor. I'm back on the lobby and nobody, nobody was there to help. This is why I went crazy on the people because I'm calling you. You're not even trying to tell like you're the person on the, like, t like try to calm me down. Like if someone called me frantic, like I'm stuck in your elevator, ma'am. I'm stuck in your elevator. I need help. I, as like a customer service person, if I worked for the hotel would have been like, don't worry. Someone's coming. Calm down. I'm going to go to the elevator. I'm going to find what floor you're in. Be I'm going to talk to you through the elevator. Like nobody cares. <laughs> like what i literally told them 50 times i'm starting to not i'm like hyperventilating in here i can't breathe i'm really really scared i've been in here for a long time please somebody come like nobody was coming to save me help me nothing so i just wanted to clear this up because it's really like becoming a thing that i just started yelling at the employees at the hotel and that's not what i was doing what i was doing was 
trying to understand why nobody was trying to help a customer that's staying at your hotel that I'm stuck in the elevator like nobody cared and they could have easily like tried to like you know calm the situation down like nobody cared at all so I'm just like the W Hotel, like, I'm off you. I'm not staying with y'all. I don't ever even really stay at the W's anyways. But it was just like, the fuck? Like, you guys could have had a little bit more, like, urgency, customer care. You could have helped. Like, I got out of the elevator and nobody was there. Nobody came to help. You guys were just, like, literally at the front desk, chilling, vibing. And then you have the nerve to tell me that, we um if something like this happens we have to wait for maintenance to come and so but i had already been in the elevator for 30 minutes so where the fuck was maintenance like i was stuck in your fucking elevator and you didn't care like this is not cool so at the end of the day like you know um i don't know what your all's fears are in life or if you have like you know phobias or anything like that but like i'm definitely claustrophobic as fuck i don't ever want to be stuck in a small area I don't ever want to be like trapped. You get what I'm saying? And it wasn't for like a minute or two. I was literally stuck in the elevator for 30 minutes. Like not okay. Not that it was like the people's fault <clears throat> at the front desk, but they didn't even try to like help the situation. Like they literally put me on hold when and like they were like, huh? Wait, you're what? You're stuck in the elevator? Okay, please hold. And like never came back. I had to literally call them again. And like it's just this is fuck, it's fucking nuts, bro. So anyways, it's a baddie ATL weekend. I wanted to tap in with you guys. We have the baddies Atlanta challenge happening right now on my page. I need you guys all to do the baddie dance. So if I learned it, I think you guys can. So take a look. So, what I need from you guys is, I need you guys to learn the dance you have until tomorrow. First place is going to get $600 because my girl, the choreographer, for the dance is throwing in an extra hundred. So first place gets six hundred, second place gets three hundred, and um, third place gets a hundred dollars. So if you guys want to win some money this weekend, you gotta post the dance. You gotta tag myself, Zeus, the choreographer. It says everything underneath my post. So if you're ready to win some money, it's a very simple, easy dance. So that's what you guys. Um, can be doing oh, my room services here so hold on. Uh, oh my goodness oh nw i'm staying at a way better hotel okay hi how are you I'm good how are you good thank you yeah, you can come on in um you can put it right on the edge of the, edge of the bed yeah all right, guys, so now is your chance to win some money. If you're um, trying to win some money, I need you to do the dance. Tap in, tap in. All right. I can send it through Zal Cash App, whatever. Let's go. Period, poo.